everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking you with me on my sketchbook hour and I will be doing a study of a beluga whale. I have been reading Moby Dick lately and naturally I have been obsessed with whales as a result. I'm also doing a project at university that has to do with whales, so this is a good opportunity to do a bit of studying on the whale anatomy. I decided to go with a pencil today and do some shading. I struggle with values a lot and this is something I would like to improve this year. I realized this at uni when we were doing some basic exercises. I never really identified values as a thing before, so I could not identify that that was what I needed to work on. I'm pretty sure my trouble with values is why my art has looked a bit flat in the past. This is why I really like uni, because they point out things about your art that you may not find on your own. I had to get the book out here to create the flipper, and it just ended up looking like a chicken drumstick at first. I noticed I became more confident with the shading when I got to the second page. On the first page I was very careful and afraid to mess up and I was actually thinking of stopping after the first three. But I made myself do another page and I feel like it paid off. What stuck to me most was the shape of the head and the nose. I needed to do a specific kind of curvature to get the whale look somewhat correct. of the tail revealed a lot of fine detail I did not see on any other images. I think the most sympathetic part of a whale must be their eyes, so I had to do a close-up of one. Also, it was good practice for the skin detail around the eye. getting hungry when making the last one, but it still turned out okay, but a bit more cartoony than the others though. I scanned the whales before coloring in the background and took them over to Illustrator. Hopefully I create something cool out of them and get to share another video with you. So what is your favorite kind of whale? I hope you enjoyed the video today, please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye!